I'll get some videos and some fishing action ASAP. I promise you that. But I think my next day off is the 29th. All right, I'm on call, but I decided to squeeze in a little bass fishing. Got the horny toad rig. All right, there you go. And then the uh, bass assassin. And I'm back at my favorite spillway that is just so dangerous. Boy, we got some more water in here though than last time. Oh yeah, I bet I get bit quick in here. There's a big giant Pelcostomus. And there's two more. Sucker fish. The Pelcostomus. What you throw in your fish tank. And they do the exact same thing here. That one's gone. Wow, I see a bunch of Mayan cichlids down there too. Alright. <clears throat> this is the Mayan cichlid non-indigenous and he slammed that little soft plastic pretty fish though he gone and now the little bass same bait <laughs> Number two, baby. Well, this would be second bass, third fish. This one hit like a little freaking tank. And this is a black bass here. Largemouth bass, but he is a real dark one. River bass and healthy. Yeah, that's a pretty fish there. He nailed it. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> All right, I just got broke off. That's the thing when you're not tying mono or fluoro to braid. Braid is not that resistant to uh, abrasive edges like concrete or teeth or, you know, whatever, oysters. Anyways, I got broke off. Just got rigged up with this new bait. Time to see if I can get bit again. Got some nasty weather coming in. And I don't care for lightning. These little Mayan cichlids are tough. <laughs> Stay up there, come on. Be a good movie star. This is your moment. That is a Mayan cichlid. They are non-indigenous, which means they are an invasive species and should be killed. It's a pretty big one. I have not been killing them because they're fun to catch. But they eat all the little baby bass and little baby brim, all the you know fish that should be in these waters because they're really aggressive and they're tough. They got some pretty serious teeth too. All right, I got broke off again, so I'm trying to go braid to fluorocarbon here. But the problem is I've got 30 pound only. I don't have anything smaller. So I got some 30 pound fluoro onto a circle knot, onto this little same bass assassin deal. So, see what I can do.
These things are fun to catch. What's that, number three, number four of these guys? They're pretty. Anyways, I gotta use two hands. What do you guys think? Should I be killing these things? I mean, they're definitely an invasive species. Let me know what you think. I probably should, but I don't know. There we go, baby. Now a little snook to add to the collection. <laughs> How do you like that? Bass, Mayan cichlid. Put this pole down. Sorry here. Sorry about the delay. All right, little snook. Bass, Mayan cichlid. And now a snook. How about that? Hold, don't hurt yourself. Pretty cool. All right, baby. There she goes. <laughs> Catching snook, baby. Bass fishing for snook. All right, stopped at this little pond on the way back to the house. Looking for a bigger fish. I was throwing the horny toed frog, but nonetheless, I caught another bass. Pretty cool. All right, this is not the best situation to be in. I was not looking and all of a sudden had a big bite and got a hook up, but it is not, oh boy, what you might think. What do we got here? <clears throat> what do we got here? That's something big, I can tell you that. Oh boy, I got a damn gator. Oh, all right, the stupid thing came back and got it again. My God, thought I had this problem solved, but nope. What's going on? Oh boy, I got my hands full. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're gonna have to come up here. I showed a whole world what you look like. You big ugly lizard. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. set way too tight right now. Ooh. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, baby. I better loosen my drag a little bit. Jeez Louise. All right, I guess it's safe to say I caught this one. Got him. Yeah, act like nothing's going down. We got a Car coming by here. Just gotta play it cool. Act like I'm texting here for a second. Don't want to draw any attention to the alligator. This is my main man, Lizard Lips. Probably like a, I don't know, three, four footer. I could catch this one. Flat technique. If I was gonna catch him though, I'd just throw my shirt on him and dive on him. Which I still might. I'm not sure. But I think, I think I might not. He's a good size one. Pretty strong little animal here. Surprised he's not trying the tail. All right, this guy is backing up. I was gonna try to lasso him with my uh, stringer there and then drag him back to my truck over there and get the hook out of his mouth. But I have gave him a chance to recover. So now he is ready to Fight some more, it looks like. Fight or flight. A 
So, you gonna keep it or what? You gonna keep it or what, dude? That hook just does not want to pull out. And I know he will not let me take it out for him. All right, I got the old Steve Irwin special here with the top jaw rope. Now we can take the overhead of the truck and see if we can't perform a little after hours alligator surgery, if you know what I mean, in my best Aussie voice. Oh yeah. Let's get a little one-on-one -on -one here as I drag my new friend back to the truck. Crikey, she's a beaut. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not every day you get to drag an alligator down the down the bank. But today's the day. Wonder what this guy thinks behind me. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna let it go. I just want to get the hook out of its mouth. And in order to do that, I need to get a towel over it so I can restrain it. But here's my gator. <clears throat> okay, real simple plan here. Just gonna throw the towel on it and then grab it. Take the hook out. All right, this is a free alligator. Got the hook out and everything. Don't bite my towel. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, I got the hook out of his mouth, so he is free. This hook is trash. Yeah, I didn't even see that thing grab it. He was over there in the weeds. I made a cast across the corner of the pond right there, and that thing slammed it. That was fun.